I never get to do this. I'm really excited. Good. Yay. Yeah, Lee got to go to the movies today and see a new movie. Uh, Lee Newton, Trisha Hirschberger, mm -hmm. if you're just tuning in. Mm -hmm. This is a show where we watch new movies in the theater, and then we talk to you guys about them. Um, Lee, what do we see today? We saw The Neighbors featuring uh, Seth Rogen and mm -hmm. Zac Efron. There's been promo for the shite everywhere. I've heard radio announcements everywhere. about it. Everywhere. So, uh, they're good job hard. on the marketing. Yeah. Um, but bad job on the marketing because all the trailers made this look horrible. I yeah. thought. I did kind of make it look like a kind of crappy movie. It really it did. It, it looked like a shitty movie. I was like, oh, Zac Efron's going to play a douchebag again. And yeah. Seth Rogen's going to make a bunch of jokes about being old and yeah. not as good looking as Zac Efron. But there was actually like really, there were some, I mean, there were some insane, stupid, ridiculous moments. Let's all put that out there. There was some moments that you're just like, you've got to be kidding me. And it's all for like shock value. It's the same guys that brought you This Is The End. So it's the same shit that you're gonna see in that. It's literally yeah. like. Same writers as 40 year old virgin. Crazy so if you thought thing, that was funny. Yeah, and it's, it's like one of those things that you're like, I never thought I'd see that on screen. So you see it on screen and then like. And you go, oh. oh, oh. oh. Quick review, I, I didn't mind it. It was fluff, it was, I enjoyed it. I laughed a couple of times and there was some moments <laughs> that I had, I was like, oh. There we go. Okay, my quick review, if you're going to the theater this weekend and you don't want to see anything remotely substantial but you want to have a good time, go see Neighbors. That's it, for sure. <laughs> There's okay. not going to be that good at other movies, so go see Neighbors. Go see Neighbors, yeah. Yeah. For those of you who haven't seen the trailers, uh, some old people with a baby move into a house. They're really excited. They're, like, they're new old people. They're like on the edge of that, like, we're starting mm -hmm. our life together. Where they're like, you know, we just mm -hmm. are in our early 30s and we're starting early to be responsible old people. adults. And, and then so. a frat moves in next door and uh, they get into a neighbor war. Or hilarity ensues. Hilarity ensues. But because it is, there is a struggle. There's a deeper meaning of like, there's a struggle of these there people is. that are like, we want our old life of like partying back and like now we have to be responsible. So there's this like struggle. And in that the sense. struggle of the frat kids that are like, ah, we're gonna get old someday. Yeah. And we're so gonna like, things are gonna get real after college. So there is like, you mm -hmm. know, I mean, it's not it's not super thick, but there's a thin underlying of like deeper meaning. So with that, kudos to the writers because mm -hmm. the trailers made this look like a very two-dimensional yeah. kind of shitty premise movie, and it actually turned out to yeah. help a little there's bit there. there. There's a couple of moments in there that, especially as like someone who is burgeoning out of my partying phase, burgeoning. Like that's a great word. Out of it for a while. <laughs> um, but what she means like, by that is she gets real bad hangovers. Really horrible hangovers. Yeah. Like for a beer, I'm like, this isn't worth it anymore. No <laughs> Not at all. No and then there's also those moments where you're sitting there and you're watching like your seventh episode of Jeopardy that you DVR'd on, your thing <laughs> on a Friday night you're drinking like, an wow. IPA by yourself and you're like, I'm old God, I'm and old. I fucking love this. And you love it. I live for this. I love brunch. I love brunch. I love brunch. I love Netflix. Yeah, I love Netflix. I like board game nights. Oh, I do love a good board game night. Right. You know, <laughs> it is. It's, so there does have like those little things in there that you just like you connect with a lot. I connected with a lot. Well, and I think you're supposed to connect yeah. with uh, Seth Rogen, yes. who did a great job. He did. He was so he is funny. He's I mean, wonderful. I used to get really irritated with him, and now I'm really? like, I fucking like you. I just I'm sorry, I like you, Seth Rogen. He's likable. He's likable. It's a very charismatic likeable. dude. Rose Byrne was also a really like fun Rose surprise. Was she's great. really funny, and she's very like very dynamic in it. She's really great. Zac Efron was not. Uh, that's not a surprise to me. He's a gorgeous, gorgeous boy. He's, He's so He's a beautiful pretty. boy. I would cut him open and crawl inside him like a tauntaun. But... <laughs> I don't know. I thought he was very talented in the high school musicals. Oh, well, you and my mom both. <laughs> <laughs> he did it on okay job. He did his job 100% He in did. His film. And then I will say there was the casting was smart in the sense that Dave Franco played uh -huh. also alongside him, and Dave Franco did a lot of the heavy lifting acting wise. It was fucking yeah. hilarious. I love him. I love him up in the he scene. He was great. Come up in the scene he was in the last fantastic. couple of years. I love him. Mm -hmm. And this, this honestly, this was like a who's who of comedy, and that's what I loved about it. I loved watching all these people get don't chances. spoil. There's tons spoil. of cameos. That's all we'll there's say. There's tons of cameos. Also, it, this isn't a spoiler. But like Ike Barinholtz, who I freaking love, and I think he should be in so many more mm. things. Hannibal Burris, who I freaking love, and should be in mm -hmm. so many things. Uh, Natasha Leggero, like everyone, there's people in it that you're like, I love them. I want to see them in more things. But yeah. and then all throughout, there's literally like yeah. probably about 20 other cameos. <laughs> there's a lot of comedian cameos, but which they're is, great. That's like porn for you. It's, isn't like, it, really? it's such a porn for me. I love comedian cameos. I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, Jared Carmichael's <laughs> in it. He's from Loiter Squad, and that was really exciting for mm -hmm. me to see. Be like, oh, like, mm -hmm. so you get to see all these people. Christopher Mintz Plus. Or Place is in it. Just who, go by Christopher Mintz. Who is the guy who plays um, Seth Rogen's friend? That's Ike Barinholtz. He was great. Yeah, he's great. 
He's great. Very, very funny. There's a lot of really, like, honestly good people that I think comedian-wise should be getting all the, getting all those chances, because they're great. Mm -hmm. Once you give them, like, a chance, they're fucking amazing. Go play! Go play! It's yeah. not going to be one of those that goes down. I don't think it's going to be going down in history anytime soon. It's not a, like, for me, a comedy that I absolutely love and will rewatch over and over is Knocked Up. I don't know if you felt like that about that movie, but, like, I I've watched Captain that movie Heigl. multiple. Oh, that won't help you in that one. She makes my body cringe. Okay. Well, but... But it was funny. It was a sweet yes. movie, it and I've watched movie. it multiple times. I don't know that this is one that I'd watch multiple times, to be perfectly honest. It's funny. But if it was on TV? I'd watch it. I'd watch it again. <laughs> Final thoughts. Mm -hmm. um, I thought overall, I thought the acting was great. It was good for a few laughs. Yeah. Not something that I will buy and own at home, but a good time at the movies. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Oh, I'm probably going to give it like a 7 out of 10 too. I mm -hmm. Well, maybe a 6 out of 10. There's a few things that frustrated me. Again, Zach Efron, you're so pretty, but you know acting. <laughs> <laughs> just sit there, look pretty. Aww. Just sit there. You're adorable. We'll let you be adorable. An adorable jacked okay. baby puppy. Super um, jacked. Super jacked. Right? Like almost too jacked. Like I would not well, know. I I'd remember. Be like, Lights off, Mister. E like, did. E E did like compete. the top Hollywood beach bodies, and this was years ago. But um, I was working for Disney, so I'd only ever seen him in the High School Musical. Yeah. Like, you're a little boy with oh, yeah. zits on your face. And then E was like, top 25 Hollywood bodies. And they showed this picture of him, like, coming out of the ocean. Super j And I was like, I'm a... Am I a pedophile right Yeah, now? it does feel that way a little but bit. But then I realized he was like 21 at the time, okay. so it was okay. You're in the clear. This has been Zac Efron's body with Shisha and Lee. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. Even men have to comment on it. It really is. Even Woo! 6 out of 10, I give it. I think it is fun. It's a great time. And it does have a little bit of a deeper meaning and fun and like a mm -hmm. deeper side to it that I really enjoyed. And I was glad that they put that in there or else I'd be pissed. I, I laughed. I had a good time. Yeah. I might forget about it in the next two days. <laughs> Well, uh, Lee and I aren't the only ones that got a chance to see this movie. On IMDb right now, it's got a 7.5 out of 10 oh, stars. Not bad for IMDb. Pretty good. And on Rotten Tomatoes, it's got a 75% from critics, classic critics, and an That's 80% good. from audiences, which is actually really very 75 good. 75% from critics on Rotten it's Tomatoes a, yeah, is actually it's actually pretty good. Really rock star, especially considering what movie it was, because <laughs> we had, had a lot of shit on there. The critics would be like, mm, hey, "Hansel, no, no, no." Yeah, they. Good, yeah, job. good job! All around. All around. Thank you guys so much yeah. for watching the new movie thing show. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. Click this annotation to see everything we're doing. And you know what? Keep watching the new movie thing show yeah. so that Lee and I can go to the movies on yeah. Fridays. Hmm? I love the movies. How about them apples? It was really cold in there. It was cold. So cold in there. Lee wanted a blanket. I want a blanket.